That was close. Here's Quetzalcoatl, the Feathered Serpent. The Aztecs worshipped him as a force of nature, responsible for the wind and the rain. In his most wrathful tempers, these natural phenomena became extreme, acting to cleanse the earth and sky. Through that, he also became associated with justice and with mercy. According to one legend, he had misbehaved with his sister, and to atone for his shame, he set himself on fire. Then, his ashes rose into the sky, and he became a god of light as well.
May the rivers of the afterlife be calm, and Uturanku's boat sturdy to ferry us across them. All full up. Can't carry any more. I can barely see the bottom. Hope there is a bottom. Cavern must have been carved by an underground river. Carving up there. something behind us. That's not good.
Laura, how's it going? <sighs> Just cross the river, almost at the prison. There are guards everywhere. We're heading towards the river. Get back to you when we're there. <sighs> okay. The box is not in Paititi. I know. I will be forced to join Amaru. Everything I fought for since Aidi's death will be lost. I won't let that happen. Come on, let's go. We're out of time. Someone needs to find that box. If the sun is not recharged or the world remade, all of us will be destroyed. I found another clue. Maybe. The tattoos on your arm, the heron and the eclipse, the same symbols were found engraved on the altar where the box was taken. What? What do the symbols mean? This one shows my destiny. The crimson fire of Chak Chil. And this one grounds my past. It symbolizes Chim Chichika, the last true emperor of Paititi. His tomb is in the upper district. Can you take me there? They're all over that tomb. If there's anything there, they would no doubt have found it already. Amaru doesn't have this clue. He doesn't know what to look for. going to be crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. Then there's no time to waste. How is Edsley? Safe. He helped me find you. He should be with Uchu now. The ruling family is displaced, reduced to nothing but a figurehead while we truly control the city. The reason for allowing them to remain in position of seeming power is twofold. It allows us to focus on our search for the silver box, and it acts as a pacifier for the locals who are recalcitrant to any type of change. Jonah, I'm with Unuratu. Oh, good. Edsley wants to talk to her. Mother, we're sending backup. Should I support Uchu or use the distraction to seize territory? You're in charge while we're separated, Edsley. Trust your instincts. Oh. 
Tu laca, tu cuchil. Vas de gelo, telo, ichi lechi huevo, shena wilej, tu sebani. As ordered, we have made our way to Khan in search of the suspected traitor Andreas Lopez accompanied by a squadron of native warriors. We'd found them along the shores of the Gulf after they had recently escaped a slave ship that was caught in a storm. The initial encounter was tense, but soon we came to an accord. The warriors agreed to accompany us through the jungle on the condition we made a detour to several other outposts to enlist more of their people and that we would keep them from being enslaved. We found that altogether satisfactory and soon set off. Alfonso Ricci, Order of Trinity. They have several sites all over South America. <sighs> Wish I'd found this map sooner. I could have gone directly to Paititi. Dressed in native garb, we entered the city. Those healthy enough to resist our advance met us with spears. We bowed and told them Kukul Khan had sent us to cleanse the city of sickness. We administered balms and medicine to the city's leaders and those we thought worth saving, buried the dead and comforted the dying. Slowly the people came to trust and soon rely on our aid. I think that's the last of them. For now. You lead. This describes something nearby. A once ferocious warrior raised as a warning. They fell from his mouth and now lie beneath him. This should come in handy. I think we're clear. Let's go.
Quite the grim welcoming committee. The victims were offered to the gods. They left the cities and wandered the provinces until they were buried alive. Thank you. 
These traps are more complex than I could have imagined. May Quispy have acquired a surplus of foods, supplies, and comforts by the time we meet him in the afterlife. Murder. Death. Stealing another's crops. Death. Stealing another's skins. Death. Idleness. Head shaved. Fighting, restitution to injured party, public drunkenness, stoning, exceptions during a festival or over 70 years old by order of the cult of Kukul Khan.
Kukul Khan departs Paititi during New Moon. Kukul Khan returns with several other outsiders during the waxing of the moon. They argue. The next morning, the entire group, now in better spirits, leaves in their obsidian birds. Take this key. Come, I want to show you something. The eclipse is coming. Once it is here, the box must be opened. Temptation of the box is so powerful, it will pull me toward it, intent me with a fantasy, an easy way to solve our problems. But it will only show me my strongest, most secret desires. I have prepared my whole life to resist it. Amaru has not yet seen the box, but already its power corrupts his mind. Paititi is its people and can only survive by our will together. So if Amaru remakes Paititi his way, it's like he destroys it? Yes. We face many threats from the outside, but risk is a part of life. We must confront it to remain true to ourselves. How do you know you'll be able to resist the power once you have it? I don't. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. We should go. What is the Crimson Fire? It is my destiny. According to legend, the key and shakshal and the silver box of Eshel were created in the heavens for one purpose, to destroy and restore the sun. The ritual can only be performed during an eclipse. Once the ritual is completed, the chosen avatar will hold the power of the sun within them. Having become the god of creation, Kukul Khan, they must sacrifice and release that power to restore the sun. But the silver box tempts people with visions of an idealized world they could create with that power. A fantasy of their own mind. 
an entirely new reality, only at the cost of destroying this one. It's connected to the sacrifice of Kukulkan. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. It's a powerful force of accountability. That's all I know. Do any of those creatures ever find their way in here? Creatures? They attack. In the caverns around Paititi, they were in conflict with Trinity. And at the altar where the box was taken, they came after me. Do you mean the Yashil? Yashil. They were tall and fast, hungry, almost desperate. I would not call them creatures. There are more than that. The key I gave you should work here. Yashil. There are many legends. It was long ago, but Paititi owes much of his safety to them. They protect it. I don't know if that's their intention, but their actions have that effect. They don't ever attack the city? No. We have always lived in cooperation. I think Amado might be planning a public sacrifice. Of a rebel? We have to stop it. No. Not on Pippi. Not at the expense of the box. The warrior who will bear this sacrifice will prefer death. <sighs> Stay near me and do as I do. The crowd could turn on us. This way. Junkinesh! Their leader, the traitor Ururatu, the fallen queen, is in my custody. But it is not too late to save them. Today, we offer a sacrifice to Ururatu as a prayer for protection. As the egg comes to draw us near, see what he does. This sacrifice, Trevor's life will be redeemed. May all his fellows see the light and rejoin us. He sees it as a means to an end. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. The tomb is up there, on that statue. I'll watch the gate. I won't be long. Jonah, we're close to the Emperor's tomb. We're by the river, ready to get you and Unaratu out of there. Let me know when you're ready. All 
full up. Can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. Looks like my way in. The Emperor's tomb. I almost have what we need. We'll be ready. This altar is elaborate. This must have been an important ruler. Full up. Can't carry any. The Inca influence is unmistakable. his death. Okay, the Eclipse and the Heron. What am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup.
This is Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft. Wetsley. He's a rifle heir. He must need by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Don't go. Keep talking to me. The box. It will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny. where Lopez took the silver box. The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces.
Oshkaj ili Kuala Iti Diantelo. Kukulkan Kalantiken. Lelano Ochlo. I don't have enough space for that. I see you. Hey, just about ready to go. On my way. Where's Unaratu? We were attacked. She died fighting Trinity. Oh no. Where is my mother? Your mother. She... She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was a warrior. The eclipse draws near. If we cannot restore the sun... I'll find the box. I won't let the cult of Cuckoo Khan get to it first. Begin the preparations for the Belio chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. Take care. We will be ready when you return. So what's next? We'll head back to Kwak Yaku. Regroup and take it from there. All that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this.
what I found. Don't move. Don't try me. Commander Rock is a highly trained, multi-decorated veteran of the U.S. Special Forces. His extensive experience with highly classified and sensitive operations executed with deadly efficiency brought him to the attention of the High Council. They recruited him based on his record alone. He is the leader of Trinity's military forces and personally leads the Deacon teams, which have access to custom APCs called Paladins and Special Ops helicopters called Cardinals. He is Trinity's second in command, answering only to the High Council. While Dominguez is the heart of Trinity, Rourke is the fist. Rourke and Dominguez don't always see eye to eye, but each has a grudging respect for the other. I'm still not 100% convinced the box even exists. What would a magic box even look like? Come look at this. What's up, Chief? Should I be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming? Go, stop, wait, go fast. The life of a soldier.
that box. You have hostiles in your area. Well, Dr. Dominguez... I don't give a damn about Dominguez. Find Lara Croft and kill her. Spread out way too goddamn thin for that. This was a research operation. Let's just spread out and make the best of it. I'll cover that area, you stay here. tells us to look for the box, now Rourke tells us to look for Croft. Who are we supposed to listen to? Well, Rourke is a military leader and Dominguez's decisions are getting people killed. So you better decide right now. Please let me know if you have to leave. It's a strange feeling. Full up. Can't carry any more. Twenty first of December, sixteen oh three. Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, Take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents' clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. a record of a mercenary's assignments while working for Trinity. Mexico, Kenya, Siberia. I had my crosshairs on the younger one too, but Rourke had orders for us to leave her alone. This is the bastard who shot Anna. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? 
Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rork. I don't have the box. Jonah. God, if anything happens to him. God damn it. Who is this? I've suspected you've been monitoring my communications since Mexico. <sighs> Rourke. Commander Rourke. You've been listening to me. And now, I'm listening to you. Another foreshock. How's it feel, knowing you're responsible for all these cataclysms? All that suffering? I know what I did. The look on your face when Dominguez told you? But you just had to have that dagger, didn't you? Right through the guys at the beach. It can't happen again. We'd better do a sweep. Anything interesting in that new shipment? Thermal goggles, gentlemen. I'll take point. I got something! Where? Shit! False positive. Some animal. Hey, are we getting those lights up or what? I'm never gonna get them working if you keep pestering me. What's the damn hurry all of a sudden? Rourke said Croft's coming through here. God damn it. All right, I'm hurried. Those goggles picked here up anything yet? Small animals, nothing significant. I'm gonna make a full sweep of the area. She's not getting past me. That looks promising. I don't have enough space for that. You figure Rourke's alerts for real? Absolutely. Jesus! What are you trying to All full up. Can't carry any more.
Evening, Ralph. Evening, Sam. Do you see anyone? If I did, I'd be shooting. She cut through more of us. from the guys at the river lately. This has been going on way too long. Goddamn Lara Croft again. We've got to... Shit! <laughs> Gave up too fast last time. Operation Lone Wolf. Who chose that name? Full up. Can't carry any more. <laughs> All full up. Can't carry any more. a recipe for a hallucinogen, sometimes used in war. This should help. If I use this on my arrows, it could be an advantage against Trinity. Mm, 
Impossible. I can't carry any more. This must be Mama Zara. <laughs> I always thought her forms of worship were a fun tradition. She was the Incan goddess of grain, and her name means May's mother. So if ever a farmer found a strange maize plant, they would dress it up like a doll in honor of her. She was also the goddess of willow trees, so sometimes the farming communities would hang one of their maize dolls from a willow tree and dance around it for her. Trinity can rot in this jungle. And as for the Pietitian Emperor, not even he can truly understand just what this box is. But I do, and I know it should not be used by just anyone. That would be catastrophic. Only the purest among us should make the decision as to how to wield the power of the silver box. That is why I must hide it. Mm, impossible, I can't carry any more. We'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next in line for deacon training. Work out. Jesus, you look like shit. Camp's having trouble receiving me. As soon as this is up, we'll use it to boost your signal.
all full up. Can't carry any more. I can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. Jonah? Jonah, come in, please. He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock. If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you. Dominguez forbade us from mingling with the locals didn't want us corrupting them. Luckily, one of the priests developed a taste for bourbon, and as long as I brought a pint with me, he'd lend me his costume, mask and all. Walking through the lower city was like travelling 500 years into the past. This hard hat is decorated with peacock feathers and what seems to be the likeness of a jaguar.
find you. You can't hide from me, Rourke. You are fucking dead. This is Rourke. I've been called back to Can. Winters, Croft is all yours. Making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. <sighs> Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something... The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. It could be dozens. <sighs> Not within trekking distance from Paititi. <sighs> Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you?
Church of San Juan. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel.